What is a robot? How do you define robot? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maybe I'm not Lawrence Fishburne, but um, this is something that uh, at the makerspace was a big uh, point of a point of contention a lot of uh, a lot of times. Um, what exactly constituted a robot? You know, it was a robot, something that you could, you know, uh, pilot manually or, you know, autonomous. Um, <laughs> let's take a look at that and see what, yeah, at least what I think a, a robot actually is. Here we go. All right. So let's take a look at this. Um, uh, now if you go, <laughs> If you go online and you look up uh, the definition of a robot, so here we have a machine that resembles a living creature being capable of moving independently as by walking or rolling on wheels and, guess what, performing complex tasks. So now this one doesn't say autonomously but or automatically or autonomously, but uh, if you look at the uh, Oxford <laughs> languages definition, uh, a machine resembling a human being able to replicate certain human movements and functions automatically. Uh, so I think in recent years, because of the way that we've seen uh, robots portrayed in movies and such, that it has become um, something that's a humanoid uh, shaped thing. Although robots don't necessarily, I think, have to take on a humanoid, humanoid form. And then lastly, we've got Wikipedia, everybody's favorite, right? Um, a robot is a machine, especially one programmable by computer. Uh, capable, capable, again, importantly, of carrying out, um, of carrying out complex series of actions automatically. Uh, so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to look at two examples of um, two examples of robots robots and uh, we're going to take a look at uh, using these definitions we're going to take a look at the difference between the two and why I think one is a, in my opinion is a uh, true robot and why the other one is not although a lot of people consider it to be the other thing well let's get into this next thing which is where the word robot actually comes from because everybody uses the term robot but um do we know where it comes from and um i used to have a whole bunch of slides for this and uh, and it was an hour-long thing when i taught it at the makerspace but um i think we're gonna spare you guys that Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think you guys would want to sit through that slideshow. But um, if you take a look uh, here, you're going to see that. Um, uh, so the word robot was uh, introduced to the English language. And you guys can look this up on your own. But uh, the the idea was that um, this this play by um, a Czech playwright um, introduced robots as uh they were machines that were made from organic matter uh, uh but that they were made to to serve humans and so but this is uh this is the thing they were able to carry out all these tasks automatically so fits the definition of a robot but um now we know robots as mechanical uh and not organic so uh later on uh robots that were in this fashion or, or um, looked like human beings were uh, the word Android was was you know started to be applied to those afterwards so um, yeah interesting interesting things uh, surrounding uh, the word robot but again let's go let's go now we're gonna go take a look at the, uh, the examples that I have and, and uh, we'll see what the differences are Check it out. Oh, it's pretty deep over here. I don't know if we're going to be able to get around. 
Oh, we've got got some grass stuck in the treads already. Oh yeah, the grass is getting stuck in the treads. But here, we'll try to go. So we're set to one. Three seconds. a little bit of sight of it. So right now if the other if the other robot had been moving, he would have been in the beam sooner. <laughs> so as I was saying, uh, these look very similar, right? So they they they're even made on the same base, right? So this it, they use this the same base, but this one um this one very much is uh, controlled via Bluetooth, right? Uh, using a using a controller like this, right? So a mobile device connects to to the Bluetooth back here, uh, and I drive it. I drive it. There's no there's no there's no logic behind its movement. Um, so and that's the thing, right? With this one, um, this is uh, what they call a uh, a sumo robot. So even though they use the same Zumo chassis, Zumo chassis, I'll put that in the um, description uh, so you can so you can check it out. But uh, even though they use the same robotic chassis, this one is not configured as a robot as I control its every movement. And this one is configured um, as a robot would be because once I turn it on and press this red button, uh, this guy is on his own, right? That's but the, the, that's part of the rules of the uh, sumo competitions. Um, the robot uh, is working on its own. Now, uh, there's a little dial back here that I can use to um, give it a little coaching before before I press the red button and it's and it's off to the races. But uh, it's using the sensors, ultrasonic sensors, using infrared sensors. Uh, it's taking in all that information. It's it's comparing it against you know, uh, it's it's looking in its programming uh, to see what do I do with this information. Puts all that information together, and then it, it branches off a decision based on that information. Right? If if there's uh, somebody coming up from behind, um, it can use that information to say, hey, th turn 180, and and he does that. And when, uh, when its competitor is in front of it, uh, and the ultrasonic, uh, determines that it's at a certain distance, it moves forward. Um, so it's, it's autonomous in that sense. And so that's when I, why I say, you know, uh, some people would look at these and say, oh, this is a robot. Uh, and this is a robot. Um, uh, but I would look at these and say, okay, this looks like a robot. But this is a robot, um, and that's you know that's basically uh, that's basically where we are. Now, as always, I appreciate the time you spend with me, and we'll see you in the next video.